No. I knew this was coming. You've been hanging her up ever since we moved here. You're no pervert. Babe, it's all in your head. I don't know where all this is coming from. I can't believe I'm hearing this. You told me. No, you told me you loved me. I <laughs> can't. Uh, Great work, guys. Yep, some of the best. They're giving me a bad name. Bloody amateurs, the lot of them. I'll sack them as soon as I get a new set of writers. Take five, guys. Kevin, I'll get some eye drops sent up. We need to get this crying scene in the bag today, please. Bloody airhead, that one. But it's her Twitter followers that are keeping us on the air. Ah, there she is. And what delicious surprises have you brought for me this lunchtime? Sorry, um, yeah, your Greek salad. I let Katie know everything you didn't like about yesterday's, and they've assured me that this one will be fine. Oh, it will, will it? Well, I don't want it here. Bring it to me in my office. Finally, some drama. Quick, turn the mics up. I want to hear what they're saying. No, no, no. What the hell, Kev? We've been out seeing our bloody day. You know, how did you even make it through either? Listen, give me a break. Look, I've got two soap awards. Never mind having studied at RADA. Only because you did favours for the panel. That's rubbish, and you know it. The public vote for the winners. You know what? The point is, you can't cry. And I'm not getting anything from you. You don't know who your character is. And worst of all, you know, you really put me in hell not. I think I know who my character is. You know, you've got some nerve telling me that I can't act when you're some wannabe actor that fell into the role. I've been in this a long time. I think I know how it works. <laughs> not for much longer. What do you mean, not for much longer? Hey, you know what, I'm just saying that shows like these, characters come and they go all the time. Yeah. Well, I think we all know there is no The Estate without Kevin Hart. Yes, I completely understand. When you've done this for long enough, every primetime soap opera takes a hit on its ratings at this time of year. Yet, yes, I do consider us a primetime show, especially considering our demographic. Just trust me, there's something big coming, even you'll want to tune in. I'll tell you what, I'll get Helen to tweet a few promos for you, completely gratis. Anyway, Always a pleasure to talk to you, but I really must dash. I've got a meeting with a Spanish broadcaster. We're huge out there, didn't you know? I'll have Jenny from Sales call you about the Spanish account. Thanks for calling. Ciao, ciao, bye. <laughs> Annabelle, in here, now. I asked for my lunch in my office. I'll give you three guesses where I am now, and what isn't here with me. Useless. Bloody useless. Yes, your lunch. Shall I get you a fresh one? No, this one will do. I've had the investors on the phone again. Set them up with a meeting with Jenny from sales and send them a... Send them something, but keep it below a hundred quid or you're paying. They're ready to pull out. So get this right, or you'll be out on your ass. And let's face it, no one will even touch you! Not with the reference I'll give.
Something drastic has to happen. I've got sponsors dropping out, out left, right and centre. I need something, anything, now! Yes, the Helen storyline. Killing someone off. That's brilliant. Big bloody murder. That, that is perfect. But I need something more. This has to save our space on the schedule. Do it live? That's it. Send it up to scripting. I'll get Annabelle to get in touch with the network about it. Do you know what time we're supposed to be back on set? I'm not sure. I think it's around 2.30ish. When are you going to let me take you out on that date you promised? No, I don't usually have to ask twice. I've told you once. I've told you a thousand times. I'm not interested. Just give me a chance, Annabelle. Come on, I promise you won't regret it. What say, Gasparilli, after work? I've really got to rush off before Steve. Steve's really got it in for me. Can't be late. See the way you're looking at me. You know, you're always giving me the eyes. You know, deep down, you want me. Just playing hard to get. Now, who are you to play games with me? Jason, you're scaring me. But there's no need to be afraid. We've already been through so much together already. Get off. What is wrong with you, you weirdo? Well, shut up, you frigid little bitch. Oh, leave me alone. I told you that night was a mistake. And one that I want to forget. No, you were so different that night. You loved it. I was drunk and it was a mistake. And I'm sorry, and I'm sorry if you got the wrong impression. <laughs> to be honest, this is pointless. I am never gonna go out with you. You're crossing the line. Shut up, you frigid little bitch. Bloody useless. Shut up, bloody useless. Again, and a very good morning if you're just tuning in. Now, before the break, I mentioned that we had the director from the popular soap The Estate coming in to reveal an exclusive storyline. And here he is, Stephen Steedman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. It's always a pleasure to have you back on my sofa. It's been a long while since we had you here. Oh, it must be your last soap award when you came on with Kevin. Gosh, that must be at least five years ago. <laughs> Feels like yesterday. Well, Steve is here to talk about something very exciting. Now, you're planning to do a live episode of The Estate. How exciting. Yes, it's going to be quite something. I agree. Hi. Yeah. Channel? Make it exciting. I can barely wait. So is it going to be a, be a big job to make it live? And this storyline, can you give us a clue? Well, I knew it. They killed him off. Job, Kevin, that's what the big storyline is. Such a good help. Finally. Don't avoid my question. I want all the juicy details. 
All I can say is that tensions will be high at the estate this week. Better not miss this. Does everyone make it out alive? <laughs> well, you'll definitely have to watch to find that one out. I can't wait. <sighs> it's me? They're gonna kill me off? No. I'm not gonna let them. It's live anyway. They can't stop me doing anything on set. They can't stop me. No. That's next week's episode at 7pm on Channel 6. That's right. It's going to be a, a lot of work, but if we stay focused, I know we can pull it off. There are going to be a lot of late nights coming. All right, so, I don't want you to move about too much. I want you to just relax, don't shake about, don't bend over, because I don't want it popping before you get shot by the replica, OK? I mean, yeah, yeah. I get it. But, um, but, I mean, to be honest, I would have thought you would have killed Cameron off and not me. Well, it's not killing you off, you're getting wounded, aren't you? And you know Press is going to live a wounded pretty boy, don't you? Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this sort of water in there for you. <laughs> OK. The bloody armorer. But he checked this out earlier. Anyway, Kevin, just aim for the blood pack. You need to draw out as much suspense as you can. This is your last chance to impress me. No, this is your last chance to impress the viewers. You need to make them loathe you. Give your character a place in this bloody show. Well, as long as Jason doesn't overdo his acting, as usual, we should be fine. Two minutes, everyone. Your first positions, please. I'm counting on you, boys. No power games, no bitchy behaviour. This has to save your ass as much as mine. Quiet on set, please. We're live in five, four, three. I've told you a million times not to worry. It's over between us. Look at him, he's got nothing on you, babe. You are my man, please believe me. You know, I've kind of had enough of your excuses. We're leaving. I don't want that guy to ever lay his grubby eyes on you again. No, <laughs> all right, you know. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, you bastards. I knew something was going on between you two. Helen, how could you do this? You're my wife. You're the mother of us three children. And you, you're supposed to be my best friend. Helen, I'll give you a chance. Come back to me. Come back to the kids. Let's just get back to normal. It's over between us. I'm with him now, I'm sorry. Really? Is that what you want? Because <laughs> I don't really want to have to use this. All right, man, just calm down. You don't, just, just go, you don't have to use it. Everything will be OK. You know what? Fuck you. Bloody want. He's really dead. He's really dead. He's dead.